Why does some object can float or sink whenever it is splashed on the surface of water? So it will depend on buoyancy force. Buoyancy force means whenever any object it is submerged in liquid partially or fully. So at that time the liquid exert a upward force. This upward force is called buoyancy force. So practically we feel that okay uh, whenever we measure the weight of any object inside the water okay it is less than the weight it is measured in air so for example uh, we are considering one object okay its weight is uh, 1000 gram or 1 kg in air okay the same object it is emerged in liquid okay at that time through the spring balance here you can see that its weight is uh, 600 gram it means that the loss in weight is 400 gram this 400 gram loss in weight it is due to the buoyancy force so buoyancy force means here the uh, weight it is submerged in liquid so at that time the liquid exert an upward force this upward force is called buoyancy force and due to this upward force okay the loss in weight is 400 gram okay it is called buoyancy force so floating and sinking of the body it will depend on density of the object and density of fluid okay we have already prepared one video what is fluid so fluid means it is a matter or substance which is continuously flow with the application of shear force it is called fluid so liquid can also flow and gas can also flow okay whenever we fill the liquid and gas so at that time it will deform and change the shape and size so both are called fluid so liquid are also called fluid and gases are also called fluids so this Archimedes principle is applicable for fluids, liquid as well as gases. So Archimedes, it is a Greek mathematician. It stated that whenever any body partially or fully, it is submerged in liquid or in fluid. So at that time, fluid exert an upward force. This upward force, it is called buoyancy force. And this buoyancy force, it is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. It is called Archimedes principle the Archimedes principle uh, it is useful to design in ship as well as submarine so the sinking and floating it depends on the density of water and density of object if the density of the object is less so it can easily float on the surface of water so here you can see that the density of wood it is less than water because the density of water is 1000 we know that and the density of wood it is less than 1000 so it can easily float on the surface of water so whenever the wood uh, it is put on the surface of water so at that time water can uh, exert an upward force this upward force value it is more than the value of weight of the object so it can float same as we are considering another example whenever we put the coin on the surface of water so it is submerged in the liquid because its density is more so at that time the upward force is less as compared to the weight of the object so it is submerged in liquid according to the archimedes principle it is said that if any object it is emerged in a liquid so at that time it will displace the volume of liquid so the displace uh, volume of liquid weight it is more than the weight of the object then it will float on the surface of liquid in second case if the volume of the water displace weight it is less than the weight of the object so at that time so this body will sink so in case of a ship the weight of the ship is less as compared to the weight of the water displace okay so it can easily float on the surface of water this archimedes principle it is uh, useful in the design of submarine and ship so i hope this information it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends thank you friends